I want to just give you an overview of Book Creator. I think that you will really like all the features that Book Creator has to offer. It's a great way to show lesson plans to uh, remote learners. And it is also a great way to have students show you uh, knowledge over a unit that you've studied or to collaborate on a book. Now, this is my teacher dashboard, and I have two libraries, one of which is locked, and the other one is my working library. Now, Book Creator will allow you to have 40 books in a library for free. If you reach that limit, you can always archive that library and open up a new library of 40 more books. And so that's what I have done. I just do the free version. Now, in my version that is a working version, I have this new book here. If you would like to create a new book, all you would have to do is hit new book up here and it will show. To um, get started, I want to take a look at this book. It's my demo book. And as you can tell, you are able to add Bitmoji to your books um, and do all kinds of things with them. And so I will demonstrate a little bit of that as we go along. So one of the things is I, I want to go back and show you is that when you have your book, you can import it, you can move it. You can copy it, you can combine it or delete it. You can also publish the book when it's all, all finished. You can add collaboration to it. Now collaboration is a paid feature, but Book Creator has graciously um, put out there a 90 day trial for collaboration. So that's free for 90 days. You can download it or you can print it. If you want to collaborate, you would just choose that. And I have been using this with a lot of students at uh, school. I can choose to put everyone in the library can coll collaborate or I can change that. And if I push change, I can just pick and choose the students that I want to be inside of my book creator. Okay, inside that book to collaborate. And my symbol up here shows that there are people that I could collaborate with. Now, if you want your students to join your library, you would show them the invite code and they would just have up on their screen bookcreator.com and sign in. If you are a Google school, just have them sign in with Google and then they would type that code. OK, and once they do that, if you want to collaborate with just those select students, you would hit the collaboration and then hit change and then select the students that you want to um, collaborate in that particular book. Now, if you have collaboration feature on that and their names are not recorded as the collaborators, they will not be able to uh, access those books to work in. So again, those are some features right there with Book Creator. I'm gonna go back to um, create a new book and tell you about some things. There are some templates that you could choose from, okay? That, and these are some action or templates you could use. They have themes and you are more than welcome to use those. I always use the blank books and I usually choose from my bottom row here to, to create with. And I usually just do this square comic now, why do I choose the bottom row instead of the top? Well, the bottom row gives you more features that you can use in your book. To start with, I have my cover and I can hit my eye and pin it. That way you can still see your book, but you can also continue to use this. These are backgrounds and there are a lot of backgrounds that you can choose. In colors, you can choose a color they show you, or you can uh, create your own and work with that. You can also choose from different paper that they would let you put in, their, in your background, as well as borders. And the nice thing is if you see one and you think, oh, I like that, click on it, you can see what it is. If you wanna try out others, 
There's patterns. If you don't like what you have, you can just click on whatever you want and it will let you uh, switch to that. There's also textures. Uh, for a cover, I don't know, I always kind of like this one, but everybody has different tastes. Now, once we have our background, I'm going to go to my plus sign. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to add a sticker because I want my thing, my book to be about amazing things. So I'm going to put amazing in nice big letters and I can drag it, I can turn it. And then maybe I want to go back here and I can choose um, another sticker to put over here. Let's see, let's choose that one. I can make it larger. Put it over here. And then let's go and get us some text. And I'm going to write, type the th word things and put it over into my sticker. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now with this, with my word, I can change the color of my letters. I could change the font. Maybe I want my word things. To be in Creepster. Maybe I'm going to have a book of creepy, amazing things. And if I go back, I can use my, to make it smaller up here with the minus or with the plus, I could say I want it to be bold. Maybe I want it to have a shadow. And let's bring it down just a little bit. There's my amazing things. And now maybe I want to put my Bitmoji here. So I can click on Bitmoji in my extension tab. And I'm going to type amazing. Let's see if they have something out there for me. Oh, look at this. They sure do. Oh, let's choose this one. And we're going to save the image as a download and let's just uh, type it or name it practice and let's save that so now I want to add that to my page so if I go to media my plus sign to media and import it I can import from my files and there's my picture when I open it up, there we go. And I have my amazing things. Now I could do two things. I could leave it as such, or maybe I want to get rid of that amazing. It just all depends on what you want to do. So I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with my cover. Now I'm going to turn the page. Now if you're collaborating, you could go in and just Find your plain text and type that student's name in it, student one, and push done. And whenever your students are in the book with you as collaborators, they would just flip the page and start on whichever page you, you have assigned to them. Now, what can they do when they get to their page? Well, if they can choose, Oops, let's go out of here. A background, just like you did. So let's just um, go ahead and choose this one. Now they can choose a panel. Maybe you want them to put in three different things. So they choose a panel with three. I'm going to go ahead and just choose this for, for ease of it. In one of your boxes, maybe you want a picture of them. So go ahead and have them click on the camera when they click inside that box. Have them get themselves lined up. Maybe you want an amazing smile. And you can go ahead and say, use that picture. And it's going to 
upload into your box. Once it's in there, you can either trash it if you decide you don't like it, or if you hit your arrows, you get your, your boxes, and then you can, just like in many other places, you can stretch it to make it bigger, or you could make it even smaller. So you can size that however you would like, and then when you're finished, just click out of it. Now, if you want to lock that in place, double click it, and it is locked. If you want to unlock, you can do that as well. Okay, so now what else can I do? I could, maybe I want a picture of something amazing. Um, I'm just going to try an amazing, um, amazing dog and see what happens. And I get pictures of amazing dogs. Let's see if we find one we think is extremely amazing. I'm going to choose this one. I click on it and I hit select. And now that picture is in here. Well, I want it to be a little bit smaller because I want it to fit inside of here. And I know I'm gonna have just a little bit of white showing, so I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit even, even. And so I kind of like that. But what if I wanna find a video? Well, I can go into my YouTube, and I have already brought up this Varsity Boys basketball game from Pena, and I can highlight my address and copy it, go back to book creator, and I'm gonna hit my plus sign and go to media and import. Hit the embed, and then down here, we're going to put that, paste the link and put confirm. And now I'm going to tell it, go ahead and add it to my book. And now I can have a link that they just have to click that play button and it is going to play for them when my book is finished. So those are some quick and easy things to do. The I, there are your panels. You can add speech bubbles, text, pictures. You can go to media and click in here. Um, let me do this and show you. I'm going to make this smaller and put it over here. Something cool, you know, in the media where it says pin. If I click that and I click auto pin, auto pin is a lot of fun because I can start drawing. And as I draw, it's going to see if they can figure out what I'm drawing. So maybe I want to, uh, I'm gonna see if I can kind of make a basketball. We'll see, um, you know what, I kind of, let's see what happens if I make another line. I'm going to choose this. I'm not quite sure if it is really a basketball, but I'm going to select it and say that that's what my basketball is going to look like. I can make that pin size a lot of different colors if I want. Okay. I could paint it. I could erase it. Maybe I want to fill it in. Oops, let's Let's fill in some of the colors. Will it let me change it? Let's go over here. Oh, and I want to show you, here's a fun one. So now, if I click in it, look at the fun colors that that creates inside of my ball. So I could use that when I'm finished. I'm going to go ahead, click done, 
and there's my ball along with my link to the game. Okay, now what else is in here that is really cool? You can also do shapes and they give you all kinds of things and arrows, which are kind of fun. But I want to show you what I really like too about Book Creator is I'm going to go back here to Media and hit Record. Now, once I push Start Recording, it's going to count me down. And then I can tell about my page if I want. So, hi everybody. This is Miss Honenkamp, and this is my page of amazing things. I think the Pena High School boys basketball team is pretty amazing. The way they played their ball game last night and beat Vandalia. I also thought that these dogs, that's pretty amazing. The way that dog has his head underneath the other dog, and it looks like a hat. I hope you think these are amazing, too. And after you record, you can listen to it, see if you like it. If you do, go ahead and put use recording and it gives you a sound button. And so maybe you put it down here by your voice, by your mouth, so they know to do it. Or if you put it like here, maybe you go in and you get one of those arrows and bring it over and have it point to that speech bubble. There we go. So they know to click that speech link to hear the message. Those are some of the basic features of Book Creator. If you have any questions, just give me a call.